Greeting, this is Ahmad from Global Project Control. In this lesson, we want to talk about Activity Usage Profile and Activity Usage Spreadsheet. You can go to your Activity Usage Profile by this icon and Activity Usage Spreadsheet by this icon. Also, you can go to the View menu on the Show on the bottom. You can select Activity Usage Spreadsheet and Activity Usage Profile. But what's the useful information show us to Activity Usage Spreadsheet? By Activity Usage Spreadsheet, you can find out what is the distribution of your units, cost, and other tabs in your project. Activity Usage Spreadsheet have two panes. The right pane show you the distribution of units which you selected on this column and the left pan is related to your project information like your activity section if you want to modify it you can right click and go to your spreadsheet field and select your information according to your requirement i change it actual from cumulative actual labor unit cumulative actual non-labor unit and this is the result also you can select your time scale according to your requirement you can change it based on calendar to the year month quarter month month week and other section which is available on the PC setting. Also, you can use the ordinary date and distribute it based on month, year, quarter, week, and other setting, like this. For better understanding of activity usage spreadsheet, let me to gathering the information. For this project, for instance, I insert cumulative actual labor unit, cumulative budgeted labor unit, and add cumulative actual labor cost. This is show me the quick view of my project cost at the project level. Also, you can select your proper WBS and find out what happened to your project based on a distribution. At the month four, for engineering phase, I need 10,318 labor units. And I do actual for all of them. And this is my cumulative cost for actual unit. You can track your information by activity usage spreadsheet in a table. Also, if you need, you can select all of your information and use to copy and paste your information into Excel. Then all the information you which you selected that paste to excel sheet and you can use your data in excel but let's to talk about activity usage profile in activity usage profile you have all the information related to your project by curve By activity usage profile option, you can select your cumulative information or, or time interval information. Let me to change all cumulative to the time interval. And my time interval is a month. You have two pane is related to the activity usage profile the right pane is show you the curve 
and the left pen is for selection. I have this opportunity to do the filter for all activity or selected activity. If I go through to expand all the activities and I want to only this curve show me the engineering activities, I should select the engineering activities and then selected activities for engineering. Then my curve updated to the engineering section. Also, you can change the filtration for procurement. Let me to select all the procurement information, then all of my vertical curve related to the procurement. Also, you can do the filter by time period. If you select the time period and you select your time period, then in the Gantt chart, all activity related to this Gantt, to this time period, filter. But what kind of information represent in activity usage profile in the right pane? If you go to activity usage profile option, then You have unit and cost. You can toggle on cost instantly and then all the information change to the cost. If I toggle on units, then apply all the information is related to the units. You can select your labor, non-labor, material, and expenses in activity usage profile. Also, you can display actual and earn value using financial period data. If you store your data based on financial period, you can use it. But if you don't want to use it, you can not use the P6 curve. Also, you can change from labor to non-labor. This is my information for my non-labor resources, and this is my information about labor resources. You can select the cumulative data, or you can select the monthly data, or you can select vertical line according to your time interval. I have this opportunity to show you plan value with labor earn value, labor unit, and estimated complete labor unit. This is my curve for plan value, earn value, and estimated complete. Let me to remove these two. If I want to do the selection for procurement section only, and this is my earn value curve for procurement. If I select engineering activities, then the curve represent engineering phase. Also, you can go to the time scale and change your time interval. As a result of changing time interval, it means that you can track your project changes based on your time interval.
also if you go to the activity usage profile option then select the graph you can add major line or minor line in your graph also you can use the horizontal line in dotted or solid or none of them You can select the legend, 3D bar, or change the background color. This is how activity usage profile and activity usage spreadsheet work on Primavera P6. Keep in touch with global project control. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.